Hey folks, John here. I was straightening up my room a little bit today. I found me my my bizarre game. See, pretty picture on the front. There's the back with a little description of the game. Nice pretty picture. The picture in the front is dated 1967 and the picture in the back has a copyright 1968 and it's called Bizarre Unique New Trading Game by 3M Why, why 3M made it, I have no idea. I have to ask Mike Mozart. Now there's a guy that would know, knows a lot about games. So I'm going to let him, let him uh, watch this. The 3M game. It has inside the big cards. It has the smaller cards. Those little polka dots, you see? They're for, they're for the tokens. You have them. Got a little... A little dice. With various colors on it. And a choice. And you got the little little co tokens these are little plain pieces you got the red ones you got the you got the red ones the white ones the blue ones the yellow ones and green ones the same as on on these big cards you get to trade the card small cards to get these things and whoever gets the most of them wins no, I'm not selling it. I'm just, I'm keeping it. And that's what, I, that's what the, this is what it looks like. So you got the little trays on top where you put the individual cards. Got the little tokens on the bottom. It's two to six players can play it. But it's even way you can play, one person can play. You wouldn't think 3M company would make such a thing. Usually think of they make light bulbs and chemicals and such. You wouldn't think that they may put out a, a, game, a bunch of games. Apparently they made a few more games similar. Yeah, that is a nice picture though, I think. I don't know who the artist is that made it, but this is uh 3M company but St. Paul, Minnesota. Copyright 1967. The back is the one 1968. There's a picture of the game on the back of what it has. But it's a little different on there. This one has the white and the other ours has the plastic has the black. And yep, I'm keeping it. And I got SpongeBob pen set. I don't care for the cartoon, but I like the I collect pens and things and I thought these were pretty cool. This has got the nice stand here. Got the nice uh, characters. It's made by the Cookie Collectibles for Nickelodeon. And this is uh, series two. 
few weeks ago they had a uh, Looney Tunes, and this week they have a uh, the Star Wars version. Look like little fishing lures. <laughs> I collect all kinds of crap. I got things in here. I got Star Trek collect a uh, bank of Frankie uh, head. I got the. I got some Star Trek action figures. Those all over the place in here. Most of them are in my closet, but I got a couple more in the corner of my room. I should show. And I got the Ferengi uh, bank. And. Kaching! <laughs> I have no idea how much is in it. It's. Uh, Frankie Bank Series Collector Series Number Zero Three Four Three Five O. It's uh, I don't know the year it was built, but it was, it was manufactured. Thinkway Toys. I guess that's the manufacturer's Thinkway Toys. It's got the. Got the little name right there. Don't know if you could see it or not, but it says uh, "Thankway Toys." Yes, yeah, on the the bottom there. And it's pretty good. You put the thing. Yeah, the little slot in the back of the head you put the change in. You would think it would be on top or in his ear or something as it was showed in the episode that had the same thing, just painted different. I don't know what episode it was, but they did have the same kind of uh, model. Oh, there's more words on here. I didn't notice that before. Let's see. 19, 1993, Thinkway Toys, authorized user, that's pretty cool, though, see, nice little bank, nicely painted, there, there was uh, three of them, there was a Klingon, a Borg, and this fella. Uh, this is the only one I got, and I got that at a, at a, what was it? Shore leave. Shore leave, nineteen ninety three. That's the same year that I, uh, first year that I went there. Or, or was ninety nine? Anyway, got a shore leave, in Maryland. Star Trek convention. It was pretty cool. You ain't got a whole bunch of crap. Well, I guess that's it for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed my uh, little bit of a collectibles. I got lots more. I'm trying to sort them out. And uh, categorize them and put them in all together. And uh, have fun with them. I, I collect them. Okay, so long for now. Bye-bye.